Hi ho neighbors, Rado Goji here, and welcome to Rado Vlog, which is what I've been calling it. So, yeah. Um, much as I said that I was going to be doing yesterday, I basically sat around the house today because of uh, inclement weather. And, um, that's pretty much been my day. Uh, I do want to talk a bit about Uzumaki because I did end up reading the whole thing. I was a little bit, um... Looking at the size of it, I was a little bit, oh, well, I'll just probably start reading part of it or something like that. But uh, because it is a, uh, a manga, um, it ended up only, I ended up only going through it in like, you know, a few hours. Um, it's, um, it's interesting. Uh, it, it wasn't really scary to me, I don't think. Uh, I was kind of expecting, you know, this whole kind of Silent Hill-ish sort of horror thing going on that would creep me out or stuff like that. And... It did really have some really interesting visuals, um, but there were a lot of parts of it that seemed kind of nonsensical and unnecessary, um, because the it was split up into chapters, and, and each of the earlier chapters, you know, before it got to, like, you know, a whole big story arc thing near the end, um, a lot of the earlier chapters had, uh, bas were basically just, like, you know, one kind of, uh, like an episode of an anime or something like that, where it's just, like, you know, something happens that's spiral-related, then there's like a resolution to it, and then that's it. But there are um, a couple of things that I didn't particularly. There are a couple of uh, chapters I didn't particularly care for. Um, overall, I mean, it did get a lot better, a lot better near the end. But there are a lot of. Um, I mean, I thought I thought it was overall. I thought it was okay. Uh, I didn't hate it, but uh, it wasn't like it didn't creep me out or anything like that. Um. So yeah. I, I I probably could have uh, I probably would have liked seeing some of the uh, some of this guy's designs in uh, Silent Hills if that was ever a thing, um, but it was just you know interesting designs and whatnot for things and uh, it, it wasn't scary I, I thought it was going to scare me or at least creep me out um, it really didn't it really didn't hook my attention until like near the end and it just kind of ended. But that's just how I feel about it. It was still pretty good, but I, I've read better. Um, I don't know. Maybe there's maybe there's other stuff that this guy's done that are that you know a little bit more uh, creepy or something like that. But uh, Uzumaki, I would say you know yeah, yeah, it's it's worth a read at the very least. But um, not it didn't scare me. I guess is the point. Um. But yeah, not much else. I uh, played through a bit more Persona Q. I'm still kind of doing that right now. I just kind of took a break out from watching TV or YouTube. Or I watched a, uh, a DVD's worth of Barney Miller earlier. And uh, then I started watching YouTube on my PS4. And uh, that's pretty much where I am now. Um, I'm going to be going to bed in a few bit in a few hours because uh, I'm you know going to get up early to go to work. In all this mess, all this mess actually isn't supposed to be ending until, like, late tomorrow night, or late Sunday night, I think. It's supposed to uh, it's supposed to go into Sunday at the very least, um, and it's supposed to be even worse tomorrow, and that's where I'm going to get concerned, because um, either A, I'm going to kill myself trying to get to work, uh, or B, um, I'm... And probably probably one of another thing I'm going to be concerned with is I may be the only one there or something because I don't know I, I have a feeling that a lot of people aren't going to show up and if it turns out that I'm like the only person there I'm I don't know if I'll be inclined to stay um but you know I'll still make the trek over if possible I don't know how the uh the parking lot is going to be at the very least, and I would have to dig out my car. It's already covered in uh, inches of snow. Uh, we have at least six inches of snow, and we got sleet on top of that. Um, and again, there's going to be like huge winds tomorrow. Um, but yeah, if it's possible to get out, I'll make the trek over to work. But I. I don't know if it'll be worth me staying around if I'm going to be like the only one there because I've been in situations where you know last year in particular where snow is hit and I was only one of three people who stayed that was not fun um, 
and then like the next day nobody came in that wasn't fun um and the um the saturday morning shift isn't very large and i have a good feel i have a you know a, an inkling that there aren't going to be a lot of people showing up for work um i mean me being the dedicated employee i am i'm you know gonna at least give it a shot there but if i'm the only one there i'm not even gonna i don't even know if i'm gonna bother staying i don't even know how i don't even know how it's gonna be with like a supervisor or anything like that because the morning supervisor's on vacation uh he's out of the country until the end of the month and um, i'm hoping that you know we'll have like a replacement supervisor in or um the afternoon supervisor will actually work a morning shift instead or something like that um i don't want to be put into a position where i'm defaulted to supervisor or anything like that i couldn't take that at all i i that's not something that i would be even remotely prepared to do um and yeah if i'm like the i'm if i'm like the only person there i don't think it would be worth hanging around um but we'll see how it goes i'm really not looking forward to it but again not much else i can do um so if i can if i can leave the parking lot i'll go but uh yeah but like i said I, I, mean, I might be wrong you know everyone might just you know kind of show up for you know brave it as well and everything will be hunky dory but I think it's supposed to be even worse during the day. And I don't get out till 5, so... I don't even know if, uh... <laughs> so that'll be two trips I'm taking to and from work that I'm going to be kind of, uh, a little afraid. Especially, uh, in the evening, because there's actually people out on the road. And I think I've talked about that before. And it's around 5 o'clock, and I've uh, driven home in this kind of crap in the dark before. Um, because the last time this happened, I... Like, when the first, like, wave of snow hit, I, you know, decided to tough it out at work, and then I left at, like, 10 o'clock at night, and I feared for my life the entire way home because there were a lot of people on the road, um, so that when the, when it happened again, like, a, a few weeks or a month later, I actually left, like, two hours after I got there, because I'm like, I, you know, I told my supervisor, hey, look, um, the last time this happened, and I stayed here and went through the dark, and in the dark, uh, it was no bueno, and uh, I mean they they understood, so they they let me go. But uh, I mean, I'd rather be on the road with a lot of idiots in the daytime than on the road with a lot of idiots at nighttime. That's pretty much the long of short of the long and short of that. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna get back to doing stuff, upload this, and uh, hopefully tomorrow will be okay. I'm really, really hoping that it will, but like I said, we'll see how it goes, and I'll let you all know. So, uh, until then, I've been Rado Goji, and I'll be here next time. Join me, won't you?